It's your guy, Boris Yalsin, the wolf of real estate. Today, I'm straight from Kiambu in a four bedroom house all on suite sitting <laughs> on a quarter of an acre with one of the biggest gardens, well landscaped and manicured and lush and very, very green. It's a gated community comprising of 14 units, seven one side, seven the other side, each and every unit having four parking slots with a clubhouse that is shared. This is a house to watch out for. Without wasting much time, let's jump in, get to see what we got inside here with the guy, Boris. Don't go anywhere, stick around, follow me. Before we jump in, I wanna show you what we have on the outdoor. I have a lot of space on the outdoor for your usage. The first thing is I've got this veranda that you can use on a sunny day. You can put some seats here, chill here, as you have a look at the garden, kids playing and all the stuff. On that garden, you can have your kids playing there. You can play football with your kids, you can play games with the kids, you can add a trampoline, you can add a gazebo, you can do the machoma. And the good thing again is, this garden wraps around, goes all the way. It's the first time, it's the first time showcasing a house that has a garden that wraps around the house. You walk around, you won't find something like this. And also, take your time and imagine having this fence well matured and giving you more privacy into your garden. So this will happen say, in the next like six or eight months, you'll have a very mature fence, bring more privacy into your property. So let's go in, see what we have here. Just text to me, follow me. So the first thing when you land here is to appreciate the position of the dining. The dining is in an open, open place. There's good airflow into the house. And the good thing again is you're overlooking the garden as you're having your dinner or having your breakfast in the morning. Very good. Behind me here again, I've got a very big floor to ceiling windows, bringing more light to the space and also airflow into the house. Very, very important. And also, you have to appreciate that I've got a lot of open spaces to the stairs, to the lounge, to the bedrooms and all that stuff, giving this a lot of air circulation. And also, more space around it. You can put the console on that point. You can change this and, you know, add some flair into it. Do a very nice chandelier, drop it into the dining. Most space around it. On this side, on this side, I have a very big lounge, right? With a lot of windows, almost 70% of the walls around me here. It's a very big lounge, a very beautiful gypsum ceiling that is well designed and comes the way it is. It's all white. And on my left hand side here, there's this ventilation. This ventilation is very, very important. It allows airflow into the house. What I have to appreciate about this house is the airflow into the house. Every space get good and fresh airflow because around us here we have got a lot of trees bringing fresh air into the house very important and then again you have more space for your seats you can do a lot with this space and another thing again you have to also appreciate is the distance in between the screen and the seats is just enough not for you to stray when you're watching your tv very very important when you're building houses and also giving space on the lounge Another thing that is very, very important is the tiles. Wooden like tiles giving some, you know, character into the house. Beautiful. It's a wooden like tiles flows and the white ceiling, a good combination. Beautiful, very gorgeous. Another thing is this, the detail on the frame is something just to appreciate, you know, the workmanship of this frame. Also, Paddy? Um, I mean, I also like that pattern. Yeah. On the separation of the living room. Yeah. And the other side, yes. so it just looks very beautiful. It's very beautiful. I mean, uh, the brown thing and also the pattern brings some, you know, some flair into the space, yes, which yes. is very, very important. Yes. So we, we are in between. I want to show you something on that side. So follow me, come this way. So this room here is set aside for either it being a prayer room or an indoor kids play area, or even it could be a study area or a home office, or even a library inside your house. But for me, I could separate these and have it like, you know, a home office because you know what? I have a lot of space outside there. But then again, if the rain comes in, there's more space in the house to, you know, just delegate or just designate for the kids to, to play. But yeah. Yeah, uh, I would make this a kids play area because close to the kitchen, if they get hungry, they can run in very fast. And then close to the living room, if I want them to do anything, I can call them very easily. Wow, that's very impressive. I, di I didn't think about that. That's, that's, that's smart. Yeah. So I think we head into the kitchen. In the kitchen, let's go to the kitchen. So here is my kitchen, very big kitchen, spacious. 
and local space in this comes fitted with the microwave, comes with an oven, comes with a dishwasher, comes also with a five burner cooker in the extractor. But guess what? It doesn't come with something, man. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it doesn't come with us. <laughs> it doesn't come with us and also it doesn't come with the fridge. So this kitchen comes with a lot of cabinetry, a lot of cabinetry, either the lowers or the uppers. And also, it comes with two sinks that are stainless with a pot filler over there. I've got two windows that have, I've got burglar proof, very, very important. Natural uh, lighting into the space, a lot of natural lighting into this uh, kitchen, and also air circulation. Another thing also to appreciate is this kitchen island here. It adds more space for anybody who wants to use the kitchen. There's more countertop space. You can count your meat, you can chop your stuff here, cook your stuff, there's a lot of space to these. Another thing again, I've got these spice rocks here that is on this side and also on the other side. And the thing to push it again is above me. I've got three pendant lights that come to the house that illuminate this space, the working area, centrally placed, you know? Another thing also is the gypsum on the ceiling, different than the other one, it's nicely done, it's so sharp, I like it. it looks beautiful than the one on the lounge buddy what do you think buddy yeah, i think also this <coughs> kitchen countertop yeah if you can see on this side yes i don't know if you had noticed yes yeah. some leg room yes so you can add your stools exactly so if you're preparing meals yes you can have your kids over helping you yeah do some food prep that's very true and we can't leave out the fact that this is a lot of space a lot of space a lot of space but you still have more space on, on the other side. side but before you go to the other side there's something very important on the kitchen island i've got more cabinetries again so it's a lot of cabinetry. the dream of a woman is to have such kind of kitchen very big with more storage and also more countertops that's a dream of every african woman so let's see what we have on that side come this way so here this is my laundry area. The laundry area has got two sinks and I've got a provision for the washer and the dryer. And more here is the drainage, very, very important. And then again, the good thing is it's indoor. On this side is the pantry. The pantry has got ventilation. It means there is air circulation to dry your food and party. Keep it cool Keep and it dry. Cool. Keep it cool and dry. Very, very true. Now we're going behind on that side. I want to show you an outdoor space just in case you want to air your clothes using the natural sunlight, right? You put your hanging lines here, you air your clothes here, they dry from outside. It's a very big space for the laundry party. Yes, yes, yes. And then also you have your detached SQ yes. on the corner there. Yeah. More storage, outdoor storage space. Exactly. So, I mean, this is a very functional unit. One of the more functional units I've seen in the market in the, market, in the townhouse Space, townhouse and villa space. Very, very true. I mean, it's very, very functional for a family. If not just a family, but a family that is serious that wants to be together. It's very important. So that is the store. This one is the washroom that serves the SQ. And all this space is for us to do our laundry, to do our outdoor stuff that, you know, you want to put your hind lines, you can do whatever you want with this space. Let's go in. And then See also, as yes. we go back in, I just want to mention on this outdoor space, if you're an entertainer, if you like entertaining your guests. So we have enough space for food preparation and all that. This is a lot of space. If you yeah. can imagine back at home, yeah. when they're preparing meals, usually this is almost... Yeah, that's very true. So so this serves as our our our, our dirty kitchen, maybe. Yes. Uh, so that means that side you only do, maybe if you've got uh, your family in, you can use that side. But if the family has come, uh, you've got your extended family coming in, there's a party, an event, you can use this to prepare food. Like Paddy said, it's a very, very important thing. There's more space for you. There's more space for you. Let's see what we have on the other side of the house. Don't go anywhere, man. Stick around, man. There's a lot of things to see in this house and for you to enjoy, don't go anywhere. Let's go this side. So this is the main entrance of the house. On this side, I've got the clock room and here is more space. You decide what to do with it. Paddy, what can we do with this space? Um, I'm also very, like, I don't have any idea. What I would no idea, but maybe you can add a console here, somewhere here. Maybe, maybe, maybe a small console. Or, yeah. or what I could do with this space, I could add just a 
just one long seat or two seats looking at each other. Exactly. A small coffee table in the middle. Exactly. You have like two seats, you know, a small like somewhere one yeah, and two one and, and a coffee table in between. Yeah. Just not to leave the space hanging. Yeah. Let's go and see what we have in the guest bedroom. This is my guest bedroom. You come to visit me in this <laughs> house of mine <laughs> to show my success. You don't sleep anywhere. You sleep in my guest bedroom, which is on street. And the good thing again also is I have a lot of windows. One, two, three. So there's good natural lighting. And the distance in between this one and my neighbor is so wide that it doesn't affect my natural lighting. Very, very important. And the good thing is if the guest decides to throw his eyes outside or he sees his greenery, beautiful man. You appreciate this house with every element of it. Here is my washroom for this bedroom. There's a shower cubicle in, sink, and toilet. Very important. So let's go see the other side. Even before we go to see the other side, buddy, it has a closet here. But then again, if this closet is not enough, you can decide to add some more because there's a space here that is just hanging. I could do a closet from that point up to somewhere here. What do you think, buddy? I think that's, that can work very well. Yes. And then also, if you want to entertain your guests, there's provision here, sockets for TV screen. Yes, we can do a 60 watt inch on this wall, the very big wall. 55 is enough 55 can fit, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that you don't cover up the switches. But if if, if it was me that, you know, only this house and I want to uh, do a TV here, I will do for you a 30 something inch on this wall, <laughs> or even a 15 inch on this wall. Why? I don't want to keep it for too long, you'll eat all my food. Let's go see what you have. <laughs> so before I take you upstairs, there is more space here that you can use as storage or you can decide to design some shoe racks down there. Then you put your shoes here. Under the stairs, it's very functional. This space you can use it to put your shoes and all the stuff that you may want. But then again, another thing that you have to appreciate about this house is the size of the stairs and the slope of it. Very gentle that even granny can climb upstairs with no difficulty. That is something you have to appreciate and have to bow for that. Let's go up. Oh, sorry guys, but I cannot just assume this man. The height of this corridor is very high. You go with a very grand chandelier here, beautifies these, and even that window, it's like a triple, right? Yes, yes. It's like, it's like three quarters of the house. I wonder, window, height. I wonder how you get to the curtains. Uh, you, can, the curtains. Yeah, you, you can use a ladder if you want to, yeah. or I could motorize the curtains. I just use my remote and you know, close and open. That's what very, I very important. You to say. Yeah. Motorized. Curtains. Exactly. But it, this burglar proof, right, it opened doors for any international company that is looking to buy a lot of units for their staff because of this. This shows the units are very secure. It's, it's something that many international companies will look for just to approve the staff to live in it. You can decide to buy these as an individual, all of them, and then again, you list them out to an NGO or international company to serve their clients on a long-term lease. Very, very important. That is something that you have to watch out for, and it's very important for anybody who's looking to buy a lot of units because it's difficult to find a lot of units on the same community. You'll walk around the market, either Runda or where, difficult to find them. Most of the time you find one in Westlands one, you know, but if you want all of them at the same place, you can buy here. Now, let's start with this. This one here is your family room. Sit down here, have some nice time with your family, have some nice time with your kids, play some games with your kids. You can bond with your kids at the space. It's very spacious. And also, next to it, I've got a very big balcony overlooking my beautiful garden. Not just a garden, but landscape, well manicured, mature garden, green and lush, man. You love it. So gorgeous. I love it. And also, another thing you have to notice is every window in this property has got burglar proof. Every window. Look at this. Every space, window and doors have got burglar proof. Very, very important. Your house comes this way. Very, very important. On the other side, I've got that server room. That is your server room over there. And this one here is my first bedroom. Come. So this server room, you can put your what, buddy? Uh, I think that's just a... Cameras, camera uh, where the camera is. TV, TV is for monitoring, yeah, yeah. security. Yeah, inside the space. All that. Yeah, that's very, very important. So this is my first bedroom. The bedroom is on suite. 
Now, something that you have to be very, very cautious about, or you have to be very, very keen on, when you're designing or deciding, right, on a bedroom for your kids who are still studying in the study area. This space, you can put two desks and a seat, or two seats and two desks, or even one desk and a seat for your kids to study in this space, very private and quiet. They won't get disturbance from other boys who are very, very, I mean, you know boys are very aggressive, and your girls want their own space, so your girls can be here. Two of them, you have good twins, or say even sisters, they can sleep here. Good natural lighting on that side, and the washroom just next to them. They can run in or dash in, you know, use the washroom, shower, and all the stuff at their convenience. Paddy, what are you saying? Come on, Paddy. Behind you, behind me, there is the closet space. <laughs> exactly. Behind me, there is a built-in closet, flashing with the wall. Very, very important. So that's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> yep. But then again, if you've got a lot of kids, you can decide and also add some clothes on that side. Because it's for two. Now, this one fit two. You can add some more on that side. Yes. Yes, Paddy. Um, I mean, I have to say the design of these houses. Yes. Top notch. For family. Yeah. It suits a family that wants to be together. It's like somebody went to the up country and said, let me build a country unit in the city. In the city. Very, very true. Perfect. This would suit, this this would work well for the up country. But then again, if you want to feel like you are in a country, in the city, you buy here. Everybody's buying. I've got only two units remaining right now. Come see this. This unit is for your bad boy. <laughs> that boy of yours, that son of yours who is, you know, always causing problems. He sleeps here, he studies here. You know, buddy, this is very thoughtful. Each and every bedroom has a space for a study area. Look at that space. And it's massive. It's not just a small It's one. massive space and the window just above it to bring natural light, it means the kids can even study up around say 5.30, very important, without the lights on. Yes. Because light will just flow in from that point into the, into the, the study area. Yes. And also, I've got that spotlight and the wall scones. Very, very important. I have a window here, <laughs> because <it's funny. laughs> I have a window here, more natural lighting, and the closet just flashing with the wall again, and that shower cubicle, very, very spacious, very massive, and that washroom, is more than enough for your son. If you want this to be your son's bedroom, and if you love your son, if you love your kids, man, buy this for them, not for you, for your family, and your wife as well. You can buy this for your wife, or even your wife can buy this for you to bring harmony and closeness, or nearness, or compactness in the family. Come on, let's go see the master bedroom. Let's go this way, come on. This is the walk-in closet, a real walk-in closet for the family. It's for me and my wife. My wife will take this side and I take this side because you always think that the men have good lace clothes and the woman has a lot. So this is for your wife and this for the husband. Now you ask Boris, Boris, what is the work of this thing in between here? The work of this thing in between here is you can put your watches here. So you just open, use your, if you take your watches, put on all the stuff that you want them to be close to you. All Paddy. Watches, socks, watches. ties, uh -huh. all of that, jewelry. Yes, all the stuff. Those ones for inside. <laughs> no, no, we call them briefs. briefs. We call them briefs. Yeah, we call them briefs. Yeah, that's just a, just trying to be, how do you call it? Trying to be clean with your language. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> not for the inside. Briefs. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, very, very important. Now, this space is not for these things here. Not for these things, just put them because of pudding. But this space is for you to, you know, you can easily use your stuff that you're using to dress. Your perfumes, you can put them here. Perfect. You got it right, buddy. You can put your perfumes here. You can put your cologne, I mean, makeup. Prolongs, makeup, all the stuff on this bottle. But then again, man, you have to have strong legs to have this. If you're weak, if your legs are weak, man, this won't work for you. Because you have to stand while using it. But then again, you can remove this and bring something else that suits somebody that's got, you know, some like problem with all the stuff. Just to care about everybody. Or somebody who is, uh, uh, how do you call it, physically? Challenged. Physically challenged, physically impaired. You know, you can remove this and, you know, they can easily move around. You don't need to have this if you have got some problems. Just to show you that we also can, you can remove this. This is movable, you can remove it. But if you have got strong legs, you can walk, you can use that. Behind me, I've got. <laughs> I've got a very big balcony. Let me open. This is very, very, very important, buddy. Each and every window or door has got this bubble proof. Come on, man, buddy. What is success, man? What is success if not if it's not only a unit here? Look at this, man. This is a balcony. 
All of this is for the master bedroom. It wraps around up to that end. And the good thing is the quietness, the calmness, the composure, the tranquility. I mean, it's so serene. And that's why everybody is moving into this development. But tell me, how do you feel? I'm lost for words. I mean, uh, the back balcony has a lot of space. Yes. A lot of space. Um, I have, I have not, <laughs> I have no words to, to But I have, I, I have something to say. Yes. And what I can say is, you know, it's, the sun is scorching. I mean, it's very hot out today. But it's so cool. But how does it feel here? It's so cool. Just it's a very true. Very polite breeze. Exactly. <laughs> very polite breeze. <laughs> and the reason is this. It's because we are in Kiambu and the trees are very green and the air is very fresh. I'm even tempted to buy one here. <laughs> I can oh buy God, one. I might, I might also just decide and buy one. For <laughs> I can decide and buy one here. <laughs> if you decide to come along with me, we can buy it together here. Come in. Let me show you the washroom. Come to the washroom. Very, very important. Follow me. This is your washroom. Comes the jacuzzi. Two sinks. Very important. Medicine cabinetry. Toilet separate. More ventilation behind me, meaning there is, you know, air circulation to dry the wetness in the washroom. And the shower cubicle. It's very, very, very huge. Very huge. That is very, very important. Follow me. Show you something else. Come in. I mean, this is not just a hall. This is a master bedroom. This master bedroom has a lot of space. You see, you can put your two seats here, decide to sit facing that side, or you can switch and watch the TV while you're sitting down here, or you can even decide, put a desk on that corner, right? And, you know, do your stuff, uh, work from home, you know. Just do your stuff on your home office on that corner. Or even you can decide, add some more closet on that wall. Because there's more space, more uh, walls that are empty that you can use and even beautify the walls and all the stuff, buddy. What do you have to say, buddy? I mean, uh, this is just so much space. <laughs> I would, if this was my master bedroom, yeah. I, I would not have even any idea of where to start or Sorry. how to start styling this. The bed also, I think it's a tiny one for this place. I yeah. Know, maybe make it eight by eight or something. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know, 16 by 16. You can, do, you can do a bigger bed than this one. Even you can make the whole room a bed. You can even... <laughs> Just walk into the... <laughs> you can make the whole fact, room a bed. A, that's a very good idea. Yeah, that's been very, I've never seen that before. Whole room is a bed. <laughs> and then on this side... Oh, Boris, look at this. <laughs> From this side, bed. That side? On this side, you just... That incline, where it goes inside. Okay. And then just add the pillows. So that's the lounge area. <laughs> like a square. I mean, that is for the designers to decide. But this one can... <laughs> what you're saying is very true. You can have this... The, the old space for, for the bed? Bed, all of it. All of it's a bed? Yes. Because, it's a... because the closet is this side, so you don't yeah. need shoes on this side. That's very true. There's a very big space in the master bedroom. And also the windows are more than enough. And there's one thing that I believe everybody will have to have in the bedrooms. A flow of fresh air into your bedroom. It relaxes you. Just imagine that right now it's very hot outside there. And imagine you're at home in a very hot house, you know, it's very hot. Sometimes you don't need the AC. We're in Africa, man. We are in, in fact, we're in Kenya. We don't need ACs. Now, you know, we've got natural ACs. Like right now, if it's hot outside there, the breeze will just get into the house and cool the house naturally. I love this property, buddy. It's four bedroom and it's all en suite, man. Let me show you something this way. Let's go see what I want to show you. Follow me. And this is the house that I've been showing you. It's a four bedroom all on suite plus SQ. 85 million right now. You can book this with as low as 20% and you can stagger the balance up to around six to nine months. It's very flexible and you guys are buying it very fast. I've got two units remaining right now in the market. I've got four parking slots. I've got a very big garden. It's sitting on a quarter of an acre. Everybody's dying for this. You guys are salivating, but they cannot buy it because they haven't called the number on the screen. So call the number on the screen. If you don't get to see more of our listings, there is our website, realtyboys.com. Check it out to get more of our listings. Until next time, on the same place, man. Bye-bye. See you soon.